G'day, it's Phil here, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking through $1 coins again, looking for commemorative coins, rare coins, and coins worth more than face value. Again, we've got my $1 collection book already partly filled with the uh, commemorative coins that we've found so far. Also, we have the Great Aussie Coin Hunt number two book that I'm trying to fill for the very first time. The $1 coin that we are looking to close off this book is the $1 Qantas Centenary coin from 2020. Let's hope we come across one of those. Uh, and in the Aussie coin hunt, we have two, two on the first page, four on the second page, one on the third page, and then five on the last page. So, getting there. Getting there. I'd like to, I'd like to fill up uh, at least one of those uh, from circulation. But let's get into it. So as you're probably aware, the standard type of the $1 coin is the mob of roos, which is uh, five kangaroos in a, in a circle with a $1 legend. Uh, there's one at the top there, and the top one is also a commemorative. So let's pull in a little bit. And you can see that the top one there is, it has a privy mark of S above the A in the dollar. So it's a an S privy mark coin from the AU and S Discovery Dollar Series from 2019. So it's a nice keeper for the first one. And then it was the Mob of Rose, and this is the first commemorative, which is a Landcare coin from 1993. One of the first commemorative coins made available in Australia after the one dollar coin was issued in 1984 so and there we have the 1999 international year of older persons 1999 so I pulled the mob of ruse to one side just looking for the commemoratives there's another commemorative the Australia APEC Australia 2007 coin Put the Mob of Roos to the side, and here's another commemorative, the 2011 Chogham coin, CHOGM, Commonwealth Heads of Government Meeting from 2011 in Perth, Australia. And there's a 2005 Dancing Man, the 60th anniversary of the end of World War II. Another APEC Australia coin. And a centenary of Scouts from 2008. And I put the uh, there's another dancing man. I put the mob of roos to the side, and at the end I go through all the mob of roos, looking for coins that come from years where no one dollars were put into circulation, or years where one dollars were particularly lowly minted. And so I look for years 1987, 89, 1990, 91, 2007 and 2012. As well as low mintage years, which includes some years during which the centenary of ANSAC uh, coins were issued from 2014 to 2018 inclusive. When I've already uh, mentioned a commemorative coin for the first time in the day, the second time I see it, I just lay it down again so we don't need to go through it. We just see it and we don't need to explain it again. Really. And here is our first 100 years of Anzac. The Spirit Lives in 2014. That's the most highly minted of the Anzac years. So that goes at the top with the uh, not rare commemoratives or the common commemoratives. And there is another 2007 APEC coin. We we'll also look sometimes for the reverse of the 2016 coin. We try and find the changeover coin. It's a lowly minted coin that this is only uh, about half a million of those issued. So they're quite rare and they're quite valuable to collect. Here's another proving marked $1 coin mob of ruse, the S again. 2019 that's two s's 
So sometimes you'll see me flip them over, sometimes you, you won't, and, but I certainly when I go through all the coins at the end, I'm looking for that coin. And this is a Sir Charles Kingsford Smith, 1997. Another scouting coin. And then its sister coin, the Centenary of Guiding, from two years later, 2010. Another dancing man. And for the first time today, we see the father of Federation, Sir Henry Parks, on this 1996 coin. And for the first time, we've also see this 2002 year of the Outback. And then end off that roll, a dancing man with a knife cut in it. So now that we've been through a couple of rolls, we've filled up the first row of common commemoratives. I have nothing else to say or to talk about in relation to the coins. We'll speed things up a little bit. Get through the coins. There's another guides coin. And we have another, well, for the first time today, sorry, a Centenary of Federation from 2001. We check that coin particularly for rotation errors because there is a propensity for that to be rotated. And here we have another Privy Marked coin, the uh, Privy Mark A from the 2019 Dollar Discovery Series. So we have an A and an S, just missing the U to cover that series off. Bit of a dirty 2007. Another Centenary of Federation that we will check for rotation errors. And another one. And from 2003, the Making a Difference, Australia's Volunteers, $1 commemorative, it's a lower minted coin, we put, even though it is deemed as a common commemorative, I will be pulling that out of circulation and putting it in my collection, I like that particular coin and I like the low mintage value, so I'll be pulling that one out at the end of the hunt. Another Anzac, and it is a 2015. So this is a lower minted coin of the of the Anzac series from 2015, 2014 the highest minted, 2015, 16, 17, and 18 more lower minted. It's a very shiny 1984. I'll put that to, I'll put that to the side, but I've been finding a few of those lately, so I may not necessarily keep that. Here is a. Centenary of Women's Suffrage from 2003, is it? Yep, 
bicentennial celebration coin celebrating the bicentennial And for the first time today, we have a 2001 International Year of Volunteers. Oh, and look at that, we have a NIFC. Yeah, so that's the second time in two hunts. We have a Possum Magic, $1, from the Possum Magic set in 2017. That's a, that's a great find. I haven't found any Possum Magic $1 coins for a considerably long time, and certainly it's a great find for two NIFCs in a row with uh, the Wiggles 30-year coin last week, and th this week... Another not intended for circulation coin. It's uh, it's great. It's not. Uh, it doesn't detract from the fact that I haven't found a great Aussie coin hunt coin this hunt around. But it is nice. And then we have two uh, 1986 International Year of Peace coins. The first one dollar commemorative coin on issue after the issue of the 1994 one dollar and here we have a hundred years of anzac the spirit lives uh from 2017 which is a low mintage anzac coin so i'll put that one down at the bottom as well Oh, and there we have it, and Z for Zooper Duper. So this is the Great Aussie Coin Hunt number one. It's a bit of a shame that it was an ender because now it's got a big, massive cut on it from the bank staff using a Stanley knife to open up the uh, <sighs> open up the uh, plastic on the rolls. But uh, Z, Z for Zooper Duper. Now, if you're not from Australia, you don't know what a Zooper Duper is. It's a it's an ice lolly. It's a as you can see there, they look like uh, just bars, but they're a plastic tube filled with coloured flavoured ice water and frozen in the fridge. You can get it from a shop, or you can buy them in big bags and take them home. Kids love them. Just uh, ice. They're they're not poles, so they're not ice poles, but they're ice sticks. So Zuba Duba. If you you probably got in whatever country you come from, you've got something very similar, hopefully. But here in Australia, when it's hot for five months out of the year, real hot, uh, you need it. And another great Aussie coin hunt coin. Oh, for Outback. So that is another great find. Oh, for Outback. I'm not sure we might have that for the book, but we'll we'll have a look at the end. It's got the ubiquitous uh, bore windmill. The windmill that looks like a big fan, but it usually runs a uh, water bore pump bring water up from the like an artesian well so that's what that is it's you can see them everywhere in the outback those those uh those windmills blowing away pumping water up from underground And I've just noticed the year on that. This is a, a mob of ruse, but it's from 2014, which is currently the lowest minted mob of ruse, with just over a million minted. 
in 2014, so it's definitely a keeper. I would have probably, most likely, would have picked that out at the end of the hunt, but spotted it going through. That's not where that one goes. from 2009 this is the first time today we have the commonwealth or centenary of the commonwealth aged pension And so, just like that, we are on to the last roll. No sign yet of the Centenary of Qantas, 2020 coin. But we have, so far, have got a significant amount of really nice coins. Some definite keepers. And some really low minted stuff. So even though I did uh, disparage the fact that I hadn't had any Great Aussie Coin Heart coins early in the hunt, it came through there in for me. N not the Great Aussie Coin Hunt number two, but certainly number one. And we'll, we'll, uh, we will find out whether or not I need those ones for the book. That's it. Epic Australia finishes that off. So, what a great hunt. Look at these two. Well, these three, really. The Possum Magic, not intended for circulation, and the Great Aussie Coin Hunt number one coins. They are certainly uh, great picks. Uh, certainly well less than a million minted of each one of those. That will most likely be the, the lowest minted of, of all of those. But then also we have the 2014 Mob of Ruse, which is just on a million. And then some t lowly minted 100 Years of Anzac, 2015 and 2017. So great finds in and of themselves. And a couple of the dollar discoveries at just over one and a half million for the S and the A coin, uh, Privy Marked coins. So really great hunt. So what I'm going to do now is going to clean all these off, just put them to the side a little bit, and I'm going to go through all the mobs of ruse and come back and tell you what I found. Thank you for waiting back again. Unfortunately, nothing of any note. I feel like I'm uh, a bit of a drone. I have not found a cud uh, or a rabbit-eared mob of ruse for a very, very long time, and uh, I'm just getting so many clean coins it's not funny but we do have one for the book the zupa duper is uh one of the great aussie coin hunt coins that i do not have in my book great aussie coin hunt number one i have an o for outback already uh which i've found a quite a number of uh o's for outbacks in that first great aussie coin hunt but the z for zupa duper it goes in to the book so we have another one. So we've got three, three missing there and then four missing there. So not very many at all for the Great Housey Coin Hunt number one. Uh, that's fantastic for the book. Possum Magic, again, the Plum of the Hunt, it's fantastic. That'll go into the book as well as a not intended for circulation. I'll probably flip it and put it into my general collection, not in that uh, book as such. Uh, for one, I don't have much room and... Uh, well, I can actually put it in. I've put the Wiggles coin in there. I might as well put this one in the back as well. So Possum Magic goes into there with my 
wiggles uh, not intended for circulation for last week. There you go. And we'll put the rest into the co co uh, collection. So thank you very much for watching. If you like what I do, please think about liking and subscribing. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, if you'd like to see something different or if you'd like to know more about noodling as I go along. But for now, for a couple of days at least, I will see you next time. Bye.